Luciana Berger. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Further to the very important question from my honourable friend from Bermondsey in Old Southwark. Members across this house might have seen that Panorama programme last night, and frankly, it was shocking and disgusting. And I'm ashamed to live in a country where in the past year there's been over a thousand more unexpected deaths under the care of our mental health trust. That is not a reflection of a country that cares equally about mental health as it does about physical health. And in spite of what the Secretary of State just told us, the money he talks about is not getting to where it is intended. What is he actually going to do to ensure that no person in our country, not one single person, should lose their life because they have a mental health condition and are not being treated properly. Well, let me start by saying I agree with her. There is a huge amount we need to do to improve mental health provision in this country. But let me also say to her that a huge amount has been done and is being done. We are now, as she knows, seeing 1,400 more people every day with mental health conditions. We are committing huge amounts of extra money into mental health provision. Uh, and we are, I think, becoming a global leader in mental health provision, certainly according to the person who is in charge of the Royal College of Psychiatrists. And I think we have to support the efforts that are happening in the NHS because I think we are one of the best in the world. Simon Hall.